In this video, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes tour of my art studio while showing you 13 of my favorite ways to keep tons of mixed media supplies organized. Hello, my name is Catherine Rains. I'm a mixed media collage artist and welcome to Tune In Tuesday, where I share weekly art demos to expand your mixed media toolbox. If you see value in this video, I would deeply appreciate a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to my channel below. You might also want to check out my free five day online workshop, Collage Kickstart, where I show you how to use all the collage papers taught during Tune In Tuesday to make fabulous collages the very first try. You can sign up under the word more below. Now, before we get on with the tour, I need to tidy up my messy art studio. So come along as I make my studio presentable for visitors, meaning you. This is the state of my studio right now. Now it's still organized, but all of the supplies you see on my two work tables are from previous Tune In Tuesdays that I just haven't put away. And the whole place just feels chaotic. I've got things sitting everywhere. Not that I'm gonna put everything away, but just having things all over the place doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes tidying this all up, actually probably a half hour, and I'm going to put the film on and show you kind of the evolution. And then I will get to my favorite organizational hack. studio is now reasonably clean. Now it's not perfect. And I'll show you as I show you my favorite organizational tools and hacks, what I still want to kind of clean up and organize. But for the moment, it's at a place where I could actually show you where I put everything. So let's get started. So I'll be giving you a complete tour of my studio emphasizing my favorite, favorite organizational tools. And it starts right here. These are rolling drawers. I actually got them from Michael's in the United States, just a craft store. They actually come, I think in packages of five and they just kind of lock together. And I keep all of my kind of major supplies that I want to store long-term and I label them according to what's in these drawers. For instance, these are papers that I would like to add more layers to, but I have so many of them that I have an extra box of these right here. And these change out from time to time. I don't keep them the same. About once every year or two, I will empty them out. Like for instance, this one right here, it says beads and glass. I doubt I will keep that past this year because I don't usually use those things. Also on the top here, although it looks like a pile of just papers, 
These are all the papers from the last four Tune In Tuesdays. So these will be the papers that I actually turn into collages in my next series. Now, my second favorite thing in my studio is actually what you're looking at right here. This is a rolling paint cart and it's all separated by color. And the paints I use the most are right here. These are actually my three primaries plus black and white plus a gold and some extra supplies like gesso and things like that. Then I've got lots of other paints going down and it's really a cool thing because I can just turn this around and people always want to know where I got this. I have no idea because it actually came from uh, an auto supply place and I've never been able to find another one. Now this seems like the simplest of supply here but this is actually, I, I don't know what it is, it's a kitchen supply but it's where I actually dry my shop towels. So when they get wet, I wash them out. And although these look dirty, they're actually clean. I've, I've rinsed them out and I let them dry here. And another favorite organizational tool is this really simple rolling cart. This is skinny. It comes from a bath store, like Bed Bath & Beyond kind of thing. And my essential supplies are on top. So these are all separated by kind of miscellaneous supplies like scissors and palette knives. I've got small paintbrushes, large paintbrushes. And then these cool things, these are rolly things that have my pencils, my pens that I don't use that much, but I've separated them all into colors. So like I have all my kind of reds together, my yellows together, as opposed to keeping them in all those boxes that we actually buy them in. Just makes it more usable when I'm actually looking for green pencils and pens. I can pull them all out together. And then I just have miscellaneous things that I occasionally use down there. Now, I have three trash cans in my studio. This looks like a really simple thing, but I recycle a lot. So I always have recycling and this is for the landfill. But over here, I have a second recycling bin. So these are actually a central part of my studio. So moving from my paint carts is a, probably the most essential part of my studio. And that is this row of Ikea cabinets. And they are full of Ikea boxes. So these boxes are an essential part of my studio. I probably have like 30 or 40 of them. Let me show you how I use them. So in each one of these cabinets, I have got all of my supplies, or I should say I have many of my supplies labeled like for what they are. For instance, I have empty bottles. Um, I also just have general office supplies up here, um, all my fine liner bottles. And then, you know, everything is labeled so I can easily find what it is that I'm looking for. Now it's interesting, this one right here, napkins, uh, that will probably get thrown away because I've used very little napkins right now. Um, so from time to time, I do throw these things away. Then I replace them with the most essential supplies, like glitter, no longer use that. And this should actually be labeled, but it is all my pipettes and eyedroppers, which I use all the time. So just going down the row, I have got all, again, all of my critical supplies. I have a container just full of all my glues and I've got quite a few of them. These are all the glues that are my non-essentials. My essentials are matte medium and matte gel and I've got texture paste down there, ribbons, my business cards, and finally a box for all of my varnishes, waxes, fixatives. These are used all the time. This is my matte mediums, my gloss mediums, uh, glazes, and printer stuff and just storing things and just uh, containers for actually traveling with my artwork. Now, along the top of this cabinet, this is actually part of my supplies too. I do have a lot of tissues all together that I use a lot of these. This right here are all my supplies for Collage Keepsake, which is a class that's coming out at the end of summer. So these are just projects that I'm working on for that class. And these are Tune In Tuesday supplies. These are all different size sketchbooks, and this is a whole box of supplies for future tune-ins. And believe it or not, these boards are for future tune-ins as well. And then from this long cabinet, we have my art table, which is a central part of my art studio. It's where I make all my art. It's also where I film all my classes, as you can see by all the lighting set up here. And what's really cool about my entire studio, for the most part, it is on rollers. So this is actually a kitchen cabinet that's on rollers. I guess you would call it a kitchen island. So my husband took the top of this kitchen rolling cabinet off, put this big board on top. And I also have storage there for many things as well. And then I've got, you know, a standard Ikea 
rolly thing, <laughs> whatever you call this. This is full of different tissue papers, just papers that I need, easy at hand, my sanders. This is where I keep my glues right next to me, so everything's at hand, my nitro gloves, and of course, you gotta have a cutting board right next door. Now, right in this little pile here, this is my 100 day project. So you might've seen another video of mine. These are all my scrap papers, neutrals, cools, and warms. These are the 100 day project notebooks I did and some of the extra papers. So I'm keeping this out because I have full intention of going back to it. So for the time being, it's just gonna sit there to remind me, like telling me, please come back and <laughs> make more of these because I loved making them so much. Coming around from my table, if I just turn around, I have got a sink, which I feel very blessed to have in my studio. And of course there's storage down there. But this looks like such an innocent thing here, but this is actually a stencil dryer. It's actually a letter organizer. I just put a cloth under it to catch the water. So after I've washed my stencil, I just rinse it with water usually. I put it in here to dry. And then once it is dry, I take it out and I put it in a stencil organizer that is also just a letter organizer. And this is one of the things I'd like to reorganize, but I have small ones up front. I have a section just for the ones for dots and larger ones. So this is usually better organized, but at least it helps me find them all in one places. This is actually sitting on plexiglass. This was for a dendritic art demo that I have nowhere else to store this stuff. And this is a very important. These are disco balls. <laughs> I've been intending to actually hang in my studio for some time. If you can see right there, I actually have a disco ball. And when the sun comes in, it's absolutely gorgeous. It creates sparkles all over the ceiling. So spinning around from my stencils, I've got this black lateral file. Now this is where almost all of my collage papers are actually stored when they're not in active use. So these are all stored by colors. So again, I've got, I've got black and whites. I've got my neutrals. I've got cool, I've got these warms and then I've got cools. And then the bottom drawer has more papers. This long table is my main work table for my office part of my art business. But underneath my table is also essential. I've gotten more Ikea boxes to just store things that I don't need every day other than papers. This is for my, my printer. And then coming around, this is where I spend a majority of my day in front of my Mac computer uh, with a scanner and my calendars. And one of my favorite new things in my studio is this little rolling cart right here. This actually came from Timu. Uh, I think that's what you call that. Um, I don't buy too much stuff from them, but I love this thing because I can take the most critical projects. For instance, Collage Joy has a, a container, Collage Kickstart 2.0, YouTube, and also Keepsake, it's another one. So these are the things I need to deal with right away and it's sitting right next to my chair and I can roll that around as well. And finally, I've got this big handmade bookshelf that my husband made me years ago. And this stores all of the papers that I make all of my collage papers from. So these are actually organized with upside down letter files. And this is an, a section that really needs some loving care at the moment. But for the most part, I know where to find things. For instance, I have a whole pile of old envelopes. I've got drawing paper here. I got my rice paper here, mixed media paper, Yupo papers. So when I'm getting ready to make some collage papers, I literally just take a selection of whatever's here to experiment with them. And I've got a box down there just full of my packing tape, foam core. These are papers that are already cut for future collages. On the other side, this is a whole selection of different kinds of tissue papers. Everything from really cheap stuff to wet strength tissue paper. And then all of my heavyweight papers. So everything, so my watercolors, my Stonehenge, anything that's heavyweight goes right here. So while I'm at it, let me show you one more little section here. This is just a simple bookcase, but I also have just things I don't necessarily use all the time, but I'm storing for the next time I do need them. For instance, these are all my cradled boards that you know I do pull into different projects. I've got a whole box just full of uh, hole punches, which I totally love. My a box full of markers for collage making, more tape, and these are drop cloths. These are just shower curtains that I put all over my floor when I'm drying papers. And if you look down the hallway, this is where I store 
all of my finished artworks. So like this is from Collage Joy. Uh, this is Collage Joy. This is Collage Keepsake. Things that will one day um, go up for sale. And then one last thing, I've got an inspiration wall full of different projects that I want to try. So every time I see something, I paste it to this wall. And that's the end of my tour. Thanks for coming along and for being my motivator for cleaning my studio up. And now I can happily go back to kind of dreaming and making more collage papers, which will show up in a future Tune In Tuesday. To learn many more collage making techniques, check out the links that are about to appear right here. And be sure to join my free five-day online class, Collage Kickstart. The link to sign up is under the word more below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would be deeply grateful if you would. And I'll see you here next week for Tune In Tuesday. Thank you.